Uh, Chris? Kristen? Yes, sir? Uh, is Hope not supposed to be in this class? I, I'm sure she is. But she never attends, I don't know. I, I even reach out to her, she says okay, and she does not come for the class. I don't know what's up with her. I don't live with her, so. Does she attend the other lessons? Uh, yes, she attended ICT earlier today. Yes, yeah, she attended ICT, which was just before this class. But she came yes. late. Um, um, sorry? But she came late for the class. Apparently, power was gone in her house. Okay, I think we should start now. Uh, uh, Peter, I hope you received your mark to work. Peter, did you receive the mark? work? Yeah, you see, I don't know. Why. Well, there are marks with it because I just saw the other text. There were marks. Did you, could you share the screen and I'll show you the marks? Okay. Kristen, did you see your marks? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. You, you check there. There, there, there are marks. Uh, let me see. I think this was it. Sorry? I think this was it, but I didn't see any marks attached. So, so there are no there are no there are no comments. Do, did you see the comments? Um, I have to receive your marked assignment of speech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the work is here, but then I didn't see anything else. Yeah, it's the same thing with mine. That's the same thing with yours. Yeah. Uh, I marked it. There, there are some comments. Uh, let me ask, uh, Kristen, have you ever received the document from me with uh, the, uh, the the comments? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I have. The, the one on dialogue, was it it? Uh, yes, definitely. The one on dialogue with Max. So I don't really know what's going on this time. Okay, let me see. Connect. Uh, now, Emma and, and Kristen, why didn't you not, uh, did you not notify me that you have not received the comments? I did. How? I did. I sent you a message uh, saying, what? I sent you a message saying, is this it? I don't see any marks. And you said, it's very okay. It's good. 
actually have you read through the memorized speech yet and so on and so forth okay let me try let me try uh, joining the computer and I, sh and I share the screen and see mm. Kristen. Yes. Okay, I, can, I see my marks now. Okay, I hope you're welcome, please, officially. Thank you for joining. So th this, is, this is what I meant to share. So all along I thought I shared the, the right document and only to find that I, I didn't share the right document. Sorry about that. This Peter. Yes. Are you seeing yes. this? Uh, even when I send you the document, your marks will be also here where you can see questions are. So is it 34 over 15 or 15 over 34? No, it is supposed to be 14. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <but. laughs> I have done a good, very, very good job. Yeah, okay. it was okay. Uh, let me see uh, for Peter. Peter, how had you uh, named your document? Um, the, the question was the title. Oh, okay. It was imagine something. Yeah. Let me see, imagine here. Uh oh, so sorry, hope for that. But is your mic okay? So this is Peter. Peter is. This? The shouting. Peter. Yes. Yes, please. Are you seeing the, the your document? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So uh, I think, okay, let's start with the uh, 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 question. Maybe let, let me first uh, show, share something here. Hope, I, I pray that you can put on your mic so that uh, the class uh, gets uh, interactive.
Okay. Uh... Peter. Yes. I had requested you to to do the same speech, but in video. A tribute by a cousin to the mourners of the burial ceremony of Sonia Namulinde at her home in Masaka. Do it here. Friends and family of Sonia. Sorry, Peter. I, I was saying I, I was I requested you to to do a video of the same speech. Uh, and uh, actually, in this engagement, we are supposed to uh, Christian. We are supposed uh, Christian uh, hope, and uh, we are supposed to put on your video and 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 you uh, provide a memorized speech. You know uh, the document uh, that I sent my, you and. Uh, my, my video, as I said in the beginning, won't work. The camera, the, lap, the, the camera, not, it's not the zoom, but the camera of the laptop got damaged and hasn't been repaired yet, so. Okay. So, uh, we have what we call, uh, there are three speeches, as we discussed earlier. One is the uh, impromptu speech. Uh, the other uh, is... Um, a memorized speech, and the other is a written speech. And so you sent me the written speech, I marked it, and I requested uh, Peter to send me uh, 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 the, the, the same speech, but in video, I haven't yet received, I only received it from uh, Kristen. And the other is, uh, we are supposed to also do a memorized speech. You come, you put on the, the, your video, I, as you are, we are watching you, you are providing a speech. So I do not know how, how Peter is going to do it. And now for hope with the laptop is uh, is down. I don't know. Then, then Christian, you said you are not yet ready to, to present the memorized speech. So yeah, that means we have to find uh, some other time and you present those uh, speeches, but in memorized format. Is that okay? Okay, so... Uh, Sharing here. Uh, sorry, I thought you said it, I didn't have to memorize the thing. Sorry? I thought you said I didn't have to memorize the thing. Yeah, when, when you are in your last email, uh -huh. uh, you stated that uh, you, you had not yet memorized it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And, um, so, and so I told you uh, we will find a way. Uh, maybe uh, that's what I'm saying. We will find that some other day or some other time you present a memorized speech. But uh, in that case, this uh, the, the video you sent me, it is clear that uh, you were reading somewhere. And so uh, yeah. I will need a memorized speech where you can you look into the camera and present like uh, someone presenting as in real. I need to see the grief. Uh, I need to see the sadness on your face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, Hope, could you put on your mic, please? Hope? Um, yes. Okay. So Hope, uh, you have to do this uh, this assignment too. Had you done it? Yes, I done it. Oh, sorry. I don't know. You have to do it and send it to me so that I can mark and we see where we are going. So uh, uh, for now, I'll have to leave you and go for Peter. 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 Yes, please. So this is your speech. You have to, to take us through your speech. Uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, like I just read it through. Sorry? Uh, I just like read through for everyone. Yes, please. Please do read through and we see how we, uh, we can uh, better work on it. Okay. For those here who don't know me, I'm Alexandria's cousin, Peter. Alex and I were very close and she was a very important person to me. When I heard of her passing last week, I knew that I wanted to stand here today and say a few words about what she meant to me. My cousin Alexandria was on my mother's side of the family. She was her sister's oldest son. 
When my mother married my father in the 1970s, they moved from their hometown of Seattle to San Diego. Because of the distance between us, the time we spent together was limited. Growing up, my mom would tell me stories about my cousin Alexandria and how proud she was of her. She was quite a bit older than I was, and when I was in elementary school, she was entering college. We managed to meet a handful of times over the years when we would take family vacations to visit my mother's relative or my cousin was passing through our town on a holiday of our own. Okay, could you first pause there? Okay. I hope. Yes. Uh, could you give a comment on that one paragraph, please? Um, I think, like, Peter was supposed to first maybe greet, I think, the audience. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Hope. Oh. I'll leave you. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, uh, is that all you wanted to say? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, Kristen, could you give your comment? Um, I feel like it's a little packed together. Yeah, and um, and uh, he probably should have done it in a paragraph format, so make it look neater. Yeah, that's it. Teacher. Everything else you've made a comment. <laughs> okay, I have another comment. I think Peter was supposed to write a title. Okay. And even the spelling of here, it is H E R E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to write a title, a speech presented by Peter, maybe. But he, okay, a title is needed. Yes. It's supposed to write in parag indebted paragraph. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So now, in this one paragraph, uh, like uh, as you can see, uh, uh, one, hope has said there's no title. Uh, two, uh, in this, you are supposed to salute the members. You know what salutation, protocol in other words. In speeches, what you should never forget is protocol. Protocol is very important. So for you, you went ahead to introduce yourself and you introduced yourself as uh, Alexandra's, uh, Alexandria's cousin, Peter, yeah? That, that is not your title, that, that is not your name, Alexandra's cousin, Peter. That's not your name. So in this, you are supposed to uh, to introduce yourself formally because we have our own stress. We are we are in we are mourning, and now here you are coming uh, for those here. How about for those not here? So for those here uh, who do not know me, I am Alexandra's cousin. Yeah. So I feel that the introduction is is missing something. And so you skip to one, uh, one part, which is a uh, salutation. You are, supposed, you are supposed to salute the members that are present. Uh, maybe you can start. Uh, uh, I recognize the presence of maybe uh, the, the Reverend Father, uh, yeah. family members, relatives, and fellow mourners. I am uh, Peter Emma, uh, Alexandra's cousin, yeah? So uh, that's one. Uh, that's how you can introduce uh, without uh, pissing off uh, the mourners. Because when you say, uh, for those here who do know, who don't know me, I am Alexandra, Alexandra's cousin, Peter. Yeah, that's one. Two is uh, in this particular paragraph, the information that you have given. This information is not uh, supposed to be given by 
uh, by a cousin that it is supposed to be given by maybe a mother or a father. I, I hope uh, we all know that uh, on, on, on certain occasions, people have different information that they are supposed to reveal that others are not supposed to reveal. Uh, are we together there? Yes. Yes, like, uh, like the personal life, the, the personal life when she was born, when did he, where did, what did she study, uh, where did he move, how old is the, is, the, is the deceased, that information is supposed to be given by the father uh, or the grandfather or the mother, not a, a cousin. And so when they moved in 1970s, that information is, is, is not yours. Yours is to give us information, how did you know uh, uh, this person and what was good about her, what did she do uh, uh, to you? And only that and pray for the deceased. So even uh, in the first paragraph, there is no uh, emotion, uh, emotional words. I don't know, do you understand me, Peter, what I'm saying? Peter? Yes. Yeah, there are some emotional words. Let me, I'm sorry, uh, we are all learning, I wish, uh, to share this one too, yeah. So okay. this is this is the, this is the first part. You see, in the she has the title, and the first is the clergy friends and family of, of Sonia, uh, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame, yeah. My name is Christian Mutesi, a friend and cousin to now late Sonia Mulinde. It is heartbreaking to know that Sonia. Uh, so young and happy shall no longer be with us. That is, that is, uh, those words are uh, sad enough to make us get into the point uh, or get into the mood. If if I'm not to cry and and so I, I read I read yes I I, I listen to you speaking. I will say now, hey, this Peter must be very proud. Yeah? Excuse me. Yes, please. Like are you writing a spiritual tribute? Sorry? Are you writing, uh, like, okay, so in Christian is, uh, mm. are you writing a speech? Because, like, in the question, it is saying, imagine you lost a favorite cousin and have mm. been able to speak at her funeral on behalf of your family. Write your mm. speech. Mm. Is it a tribute or a speech? Uh, let, let us check here. Uh, what is uh, the difference between the two? Yeah, because for me, I think they could tell you right an eulogy or a tribute. Mm. And if it's a speech, they tell you right a speech. Yeah. My computer buttons, some of them are <coughs> aren't working well. Yeah, uh, good enough. Uh, Google brings it. And uh, an eulogy can be defined as a speech or a piece of writing praising someone. Uh, on the other hand, a tribute refers to an act or a statement or a gift intended to show gratitude or respect. Are you seeing the difference? Okay, so, yeah, but okay, so, in okay. In some papers, they can write a eulogy or a tribute. Okay, I thought you were going to search for the difference between a tribute and a speech. A tribute and speech. Yeah. Let me use a short one here. A tribute speech is typical memory speech, memory speech, memorial speech rather, giving meaning to memory of a person's life. So, uh, tribute and a tribute, it can be uh, maybe uh, uh, in, in maybe in a, in a newspaper. Uh, it can be uh, a speech given there uh, at, the at the burial function. So a tribute is the same as, as an eulogy, and these two uh, can be speeches. 
And so when you go, uh, you go to a burial, a burial ceremony, and you're requested to speak, uh, to speak uh, uh, about the deceased, that means you are giving a tribute or you are giving an eulogy. So these two are in memory of someone who has died. So you speak uh, something good about that person who has died. And so when you look at Christian's uh, uh, work, where? Yeah, Christian's work, at the end, it is here. Uh, uh, it take, it, uh, I take it to be a great privilege to write this eulogy and to express the sadness that all of us share over her loss, yeah? So a tribute, and, uh, a tribute and eulogy is the same, and so these two can be speeches. Is that okay, Hope? Okay. If you have not understood something, uh, tell me, I, I, I go once more. Okay, like I've understood, but okay, you thought that if they tell you to write a speech, is like maybe in the question you would have said write an eulogy. Mm. Or tribute, not a speech, because I think a speech is another. Okay, okay it's, you know, yeah. Uh, let me ask someone, maybe. Peter. Uh, Peter. Yes. Have you ever gone for, uh, to a burial ceremony? Nope. Never. Sorry? I've never. You have never? <laughs> like I don't lie. lie. I've, I've never. I've never been for one. For you, you keep lacking in the sheds. Oh, really? Okay, so Some of us just. So hope. Yes. When you are you are at the burial ceremony, mm. and then the, you you are called upon to say something, uh, you are saying a tribute, or uh, you are you are supposed to say uh, an eulogy, and so in the process of uh, saying this or, uh, or saying a word to the to the mourners, you are giving a speech. So speeches, as we say, there are, there are different speeches. One, it is, uh, and these speeches, uh, the, the, the wording is completely different. And so when, when you are, uh, maybe last week you did not attend the lesson. Uh, when, when you are on, you I are, sorry? I attended the lesson. The, the lesson on speech? Yeah, I attended. Okay. So we talked to all of these three things. One is uh, merrymaking. When you are, you are given, on, uh, when you are at merrymaking, you give a speech uh, depending on the function. Let's say let it be, be a graduation party. You are supposed to give good things only. And uh, when when uh, there is there are persuasive speeches. Uh, when you like, for example, if you are campaigning, so the words that are being used are different. So the other is uh, when you're at the burial ceremony. At the burial, the words you use, they are supposed to be uh, words of sadness. Uh, and and is, that's why we are correcting uh, Peter's speech, that the words that have been used are not the right words uh, at the moment that could evoke people's emotions. Or that is why, well, that's why there are few chosen people that are supposed to speak at, uh, at the burial ceremony of someone. Because those people, they choose them uh, 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 carefully that they could evoke the emotion because you can go to a function, someone speaks, everyone cries, and another person speaks, everyone laughs. Another person, uh, someone, another person speaks, and no one uh, is concerned. They just say, uh, "Finish," and we go to uh, to the grave. So, when you go to to uh, a burial ceremony and people speak. That is an eulogy, and uh, those are tributes. They are speaking uh, some good things all, uh, about the deceased. Is that OK? Yeah, OK, it's OK. <laughs> Peter, you, you like spoiled things. OK, so we go on uh, with Peter. So this, uh, as we're saying in this paragraph, when you read, for example, if I read faster, Alex and I were very close and she was a very important person to me. When I heard uh, of her passing last week, uh, I knew that I, I wanted to stand here today and say a few words about what she meant to me. Yeah, you see that? 
So my cousin Alexandra was uh, was on my mother's side uh, of the family. She was her sister's old, oldest son. That means you are introducing your Alexandria and that is not that is not your job. You are not supposed to because uh, people want to go. So it should be short, precise, and concise. Talk, uh, hit the point, and go. When my mother married my father in the 1970s, they moved from their hometown of Seattle to San Diego. Because of the distance between us, the time uh, we spent together was limited. Growing up, my mom would tell me stories about my cousin, how proud she was of her. So this one, you're going into the 19, uh, the 1900 Uganda agreement. And people do not need these stories. You're supposed to evoke emotions of the, of the mourners, that are the emotion of the uh, emotions of the mourners, so that you stay on point. So here you're supposed to say, uh, I, I first knew of, of my sweet cousin, uh, Alexandria, uh, from my mom. I did not know her so much, but I, I heard she was a very nice lady. And, uh, and I witnessed her niceness when we stayed together. Alexandria could, uh, could do this for me. Alexandria did this. Alexandria was this. Alexandria used to like this. Now uh, yeah, we used to go to play together at the pitch. Now who am I going to go with? Alexandra, now that Alexandra has gone. So you're supposed to show that you are miss part, part of you or, or uh, yes, part of you has, has left you. And so you need, uh, you need to recognize that and, and, and evoke our feelings. And we feel for you because you have lost someone. Uh, are we together, Peter? Yes. Hope, are we together? Yes, teacher. Okay. So here in the last sentence, Peter, you say, we managed to meet a handful of times over the years when we would take family vacations to visit my mother's relatives or when my cousin was passing through our town on a holiday of her own. You see? So all that, people do not have time. Uh, and secondly, uh, anyway, let, let me ask, Hope. Yes. How does this paragraph make you feel? Like the first paragraph. Yes. Anyway, like, okay. Peter, did you hear that statement? I don't. Did you hear the I hope statement? No, no, my network is bad. Hope, could you restate it? It's somehow funny. Uh, Kristen? I'm not at the last word. Yes, sir? Funny. Uh, wh what does this paragraph make you feel? How? Which paragraph? Um... This paragraph we are dealing with. Well, Peter didn't really write his work in paragraphs, so. Um, starting from what? It starts from four, and you see the, the four and the last, the, the first paragraph, four, and it ends with oh. own. Okay. Um, it's informative. Mm -hmm. it gives, a bit of a gives you a bit of a story behind the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Peter, yeah. Peter, yes. If if I was in the audience, I would say after this paragraph, I say okay, go on. Are you getting the point? Uh, yeah, because right. you're telling us, uh, you're telling us uh, behind the scenes. Let us try the next paragraph. Could you read, Peter? Okay. It wasn't until I began university that we really got to know each other. I chose to go to the University of Washington, and Alexandria was gracious enough to let me stay at her house. This was incredibly generous of her because even though we were funny, she didn't know me very well. Alexandria was... Oh, was incredibly generous and welcoming me to her home. I owe a lot to her because without her support, I don't think I would have been able to have her. 
to afford to go to university in a different state. I lived in Alexandria and four the paragraph years. stops there, I think. Yes. I think your paragraph stops at state. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So this that paragraph is okay. Uh, Hope, do you have something to say about that paragraph? No. Uh, Kristen, do you have something to say about that paragraph? Um, no, it, I think it's okay. Okay. Uh, Peter? Yes. Next paragraph. Um, I lived in Alexandria and uh, I lived in Alexandria for four years until I completed school. I tried to keep myself and give other private sessions. However, she was always inviting me to join her on parties or just spend time without chatting about life. Alexandria was also very helpful and supportive of my education. She was a successful business person, a VP at Microsoft. And she was able to help me a lot in my school work, especially right now. Okay. So, uh, what do you realize from your speech, uh, Peter? Peter. Peter. Do you have any comment for that uh, for that speech? I don't know. Let let everyone else be a judge. <laughs> okay, uh, Kristen, could you go? Uh, sorry, teacher. Sorry. Hope. Hear yeah, me. Uh, you are breaking. Uh, could you please repeat what you said? I couldn't hear you properly. I'm saying, do you have any comment on the general, uh, the whole speech generally? Um, no, the speech was very okay. It's just, I don't think it was very well organized, but it was very okay, very touching. Okay, I uh, hope. Hope. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any comment? No, I don't. Anyway, just only paragraphs. Okay. Uh, Peter. Yes, please. Could you give your uh, comment on your speech? Oh, what was passed so far? It was missing quite a lot. So that I need to include uh, a bit of stuff, but otherwise, I think it wasn't so bad. Okay. So, uh, uh, Hope, could you read this comment here on finance? Um, you said, okay, you are more of narrating than giving a speech. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Kristen, is it true? Is it true that what? I can't hear you properly. Please repeat. Is it true that he's more of narrating than giving a speech? Uh, yes, a little bit. Okay. So, uh, Peter, have you got the point? Yes. You were telling us a story. And, the, and this story, if I, I may forget, I may not forget, is it is between you and, and, the, and the Alexandria. How you moved to this and you moved here. After you moved here, you moved into her house. She helped you with Microsoft Word, VP, uh, and all the others. So it was a, a story, and it ends with the... I'm thankful I had that time with her before she passed away. So you narrated the story. And so, and yet we need a speech. 
So in this speech, uh, you, uh, actually what I should not forget is like, uh, in this speech, you can even include the idioms, you can include the uh, uh, proverbs, you can include the uh, metaphors, similes, personification, and all the others. But keeping in mind that what you're talking about is that people are the function, uh, they, uh, they, are, they are not uh, interested in storytelling, they are only mindful of time, and they want to uh, get rid of this sadness all this morning, and so you should be fast and, and uh, they leave the place. Is that clear? Okay, uh, we go to Kristen, please. Uh, the floor is yours. Kristen? Uh, yes, okay. I, I read my thing. Mm -hmm. And explain. Okay. In five minutes. Okay. Attribute by a cousin to the mourners. Wait, do I read the entire eulogy or just the comments? Just uh, read uh, read everything, whatever is necessary. Okay. Attribute by a cousin to the mourners on the burial ceremony of Sonia Namolinde at her home in Masaka. The clergy, friends, and family of Sonia, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen, it's a shame. My name is Kristen Mutesim, a friend and cousin to the now led Sonia Namolinde. It is heartbreaking to know that Sonia, so young and happy, shall no longer be with us. Sonia was such a wonderful person that I never imagined she would be gone. Not only was she a wonderful student in school, but a great big sister to her little brother Joshua, she was also an ambitious and God-fearing spirit. I'd always known Sonia to be very, to be a very, to be a careful and prudent girl that when I heard she had been killed in a car crash after falling asleep at the wheel, I did not believe it. As much younger children, she and I had always been close. She was like a big sister to me, always helping me with my homework and playing with me. As we got older and she went to boarding school, distance hindered our relationship. Though on the few occasions we could see each other, it was always clear that our bond would last forever. Sunny Max, as I usually called her after the TV company, always had a hearty laugh. She was always patient and gentle and had plenty of friends. She was also very hardworking in school, always the best grades and earning certificates for participating in school events. I have not only lost a cousin, but also a sister and my best friend. I take it to be a great privilege to write this eulogy and express the sadness that all of us show over her loss. Could you scroll down? Thank you. Go to soon, dear sister. You will never be forgotten. Goodbye. Why do I have only 14 out of 15? My eulogy is great. Um, don't play the drums and dance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're praising yourself, but uh, that's not uh, that's not right anyway. Um, could, could you give uh, uh, Hope a chance to comment on your uh, speech, please? Hope? Is Hope still on? Hello, Hope? Hope? Peter? Yes, please. Uh, could you give uh, uh, give your comment on that? Oh, I think it's quite okay. It has at least most of the stuff that wasn't in it. So, it's not so bad. I think it's good. Okay. I'm waiting for Hope to come on. Hope? Hope? Uh, she's on, but she's not speaking. <laughs> okay, Kristen. Yes, sir. Uh, could you give uh, a comment on your own speech? Okay. Uh, how can I do that without self praising? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Permission granted. Okay. Um. <laughs> I feel like my speech is great. Um, 
I don't really know what's wrong with my speech. Mm -hmm. So let everyone else give comments and I'll listen. Okay. Uh, have you ever attended the barrier ceremony? Yes, earlier this year. Okay. So is could you give your comment on your speech in relation to the barrier ceremony that you attended? Uh, no, because I didn't really, I wasn't very close to the deceased. I just went there to be with my family. Did you listen um, to the speeches? No, I slept through the entire thing. Uh, that is the point I was saying. Uh, very few people listen to speeches, I for one, but there are those speeches that are a must for you to listen to. Even if you're sleeping, you know, as, who is that one using such words? Let me, let me listen carefully, you understand? So the point is uh, that uh, in this speech, yes, it is very okay, uh, it has used the sad words, but there are some sad words that are, that are missing. You have used a handful, uh, but I need uh, more than these uh, uh, sad words. I, I'm not saying that you change your speech, it is okay. But next time, if you are requested, required to write uh, an eulogy, uh, use more, uh, more sad words than, uh, than what you have used here. And so, for example, if, if I can phrase one, uh, gone too soon, dear sister, you will never be forgotten. Why, why didn't you say, uh, uh, dear sister, you have gone where we, we will not meet, but rather you have gone uh, so, uh, so young, we will find you where you have gone. So God is the one that gives, and so he has taken. You understand? So uh, may your soul rest in eternal peace, dear sister. I know now where you are, you are enjoying, uh, rather you are with the, with the angels, and so that place was prepared for you. We will meet you there. Are you hearing the words I'm using? Yeah. So at the end, you're supposed to, in your speech, you're supposed to address uh, to speak as if you are speaking to the deceased directly. You understand that? You 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 mm -hmm. you assume another role, and and you assume that the, the deceased is there with you, and so you are addressing him or her. And of course, in, in uh, superstitionally, in African tradition, we believe that when uh, someone dies, uh, the spirit keeps around, and so you are addressing that person. I'm not saying you should uh, believe in that, but. Uh, as a literature scholar, you understand what I'm saying, do you? Yes, I do. So you are supposed at the, towards the end, you are supposed to address uh, Sonia as if she's there, and so in some in some uh, in some occasions, so, such uh, such eulogy eulogy speeches, they are written as if they are addressing the direct person. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, you have, Sonia, you have been too good to me. Uh, who am I to deserve uh, such a friend like you? But uh, it is unfortunate that now you have left me, and yet we promised each other that we will stay together forever. Yeah. So such words you should use more, more sad words, more uh, mourning uh, words that create a, a mourning at, or a sad atmosphere than what you have used in here. Okay, I don't know. Mm. Uh, Son uh, uh, hope, hope I'm using Sonia and yet Sonia has died. May her soul rest in peace. I uh, hope. Yes. Uh, do you have an email? Yes, I have. Okay. So uh, I think, uh, do, you, uh, do, you, do we all know how to use uh, uh, Google Drive? Uh, no, I do not know how to use Google Drive. So uh, after here, I'm going to, to send you this speech. And I think, I hope you have to do, uh, to write this speech. You have sent me a video of you uh, 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 speaking out the exact speech. And you have, uh, in the next lesson, uh, uh, God willingly, we are supposed to present this speech uh, on screen. So make sure by, by then, that means... Uh, let's state the date. When should we have the next the next meeting? Could it be uh, Saturday? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm good with uh, I'm good with Saturday. Peter. 
Peter. Hope, are you okay with Saturday? Yes, I'm okay with Saturday. Okay, uh, Peter, are you okay with Saturday? Peter, I don't know. Is it his network? Peter? Yes. Are you okay with don't Saturday? I, I don't know if I'll like, be around. I have to check, like, because I'm not sure I'll be around. Okay, so uh, I think we should leave this to Peter. Peter, please uh, check on your schedule and then give us the date and time when we are supposed to have this uh, presentation of these speeches. And please work on, on your mic. It is okay, you can use your phone. So long as you station it very well and we can see you clear. And for Kristen, the video you sent me, you're supposed to be a little bit be uh, far from the, uh, from the camera so that we can see. Uh, uh, because the hands, uh, they, they give a, a lot of a lot of information, even if you do not speak something. So uh, next time when you are uh, recording a video, uh, get uh, a little bit far so that we can see uh, uh, you clearly. Is that okay? Uh, yes, sir. So should I send a different Sorry? Uh, video? Uh, if you can, it is, if you can, it is okay. Hope. Yes. Have you heard of the three assignments? Pardon. Have you heard of the three assignments? Yes, I've heard. Okay, a written speech, uh, a, a, a video, and the Peter will give us a day when you present a memorized speech. Sorry. How will you send the videos on WhatsApp? Oh. You can send it on email. You can send it on WhatsApp. It is okay. Any means you, 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 you know my name or the names I use on WhatsApp. Yeah, Kakuba Emmanuel. Hey, yeah. So please, uh, you can send it there. I will find it. I'll send on WhatsApp. Okay. So with that, I pray that we stop here. I have a question. Yes, please. Okay, how can you send an assignment using your phone or your email? Sorry? How can you send, okay, like an assignment you have done? Hmm. The email, okay, using your phone. When are you, how can you use your phone to send an email, an attachment? Yeah. Okay, let, let me use these uh, uh, three minutes. Maybe could someone of us, any one of us, elaborate? Kristen, uh, are you on phone or computer? I'm using a computer. Are you on phone or computer? Computer, sir. Uh, Peter. Yes, please. Uh, I'm using a computer. Okay. Uh, let me let me join with a phone and I show and I show you. Okay, hope. Yes. 
Hope. So uh, you want to send a, 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 an assignment using email, yes? yes? So can you see my email? Yes, sir. Okay. You are too low, I don't know. So you, you are supposed to click Compose. There's this Compose here. Or are you using a phone? Yes, I'm using a phone. I think uh, you should share, maybe. Uh, give me give me uh, your email. What's your email? Let me type it. No, just tell, tell it to me. Is this Valira, uh, Valira uh, uh, Kisache at gmail.com? Yes. That one, eh? Okay, you see? Assignment, then here, if you want to compose, Hello, Hope. Yeah. Hope. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You are too far. Yeah. So, when you reach, uh, Okay. So So hope you you are supposed to cl to click on compose. Uh, uh, in case you you have a document, click on there is a pin on top. Can you see where, where the word compose is on my screen? Hope. Yes, I can. You can see the word compose. Yeah. Uh, this is that pin. Are you seeing the pin? Yes, I can. Yeah, so this pin, you're supposed to click on the pin. And so when you uh, click on the pin, maybe you uh, uh, you attach a file. You click on attach a file. And after that, you choose uh, the, the place or, or the storage where that file you want to send is. Uh, let's say uh, here, if you want to send maybe... Uh, uh, uh document wps uh, document coming mm -hmm. oh, it is taking my phone is taking long, unfortunately. Uh, let me share this in your inbox. Is that okay? It's okay. Is that okay? Hope I send you the procedures in the inbox. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I will send it in your inbox because it is taking long and my time has, has elapsed. And so I have to, to leave the meeting.
Okay, uh, have a nice time, uh, dear, dear the other members.